Hello Leos. This is your July reading. This reading is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see. What is the energy going on around Leos currently? We should have the energy around Leos. And we have a seven of wands there. That is your energy. This need, feeling this need to like defend yourself, to defend what it is that you believe, what you want. Okay. What's challenging Leos? Or crossing Leos? What's crossing Leos? Five of Cups. For some reason, your feelings have been hurt. Scorpio energy here. Feeling like some love has been lost or um, crying over spilled milk, things that have already happened. And I think like you're on guard right now because something has thrown you off. Like something has hurt your feelings. <clears throat> but there's still love here. If you notice in the Five of Cups here, the Three Cups, yeah, they're spilled over here to the side. But there's still a lot of love between you and someone else. Okay? Things may not be panning out in the way that you would like for them to or expect for them to right now. But there's still hope here. Okay? And I see the Three of Pentacles under the bottom of the deck. And this is all about compromise and working together here to build something stable. Okay. <clears throat> what is the foundation for Leo's reading? Foundation for Leo's reading. Page of Wands. I feel like this is you guys not truly being able to understand each other, to meet each other halfway, um, to communicate effectively. Is what this Page of Wands is doing here okay we don't see a lot of pentacles here as we saw the three of pentacles under the bottom of the deck i think you know more um being grounded is needed okay thinking logically about things having a plan of action instead of just like you know reacting to situations having a plan as to what to do actually thinking about things <clears throat> What was going on in the recent past for Leos? This one wants to come out. And we have the High Priestess there, Piscean energy. Not a lot of speaking, not a lot of communicating, keeping things to yourselves. That's what the, the um, High Priestess is all about. <clears throat> following your intuition, following your heart, but somebody else is not privy to that information. This is also about like holding, um, holding on to things, not sharing information. High priestess is also indicative of having a mistress or having somebody that is um, not you know, known to someone else. So there could definitely be a situation here that has um, several parties involved. Okay. <clears throat> Crowning thoughts for Leo. Crowning thoughts for Leo. Then we have a Hierophant. Now the Hierophant and the Seven of Wands to me is, you know, one is a major, one is a minor, of course. But the Hierophant is having, like, strict beliefs and, and really trying to, like, get somebody else to see, you know, why you believe the things that you believe. Get people to see your point of view. And the Hierophant has a hard time, like, seeing someone else's point of view as well. So... The Seven of Wands and the Hierophant is like, you know, having a hard time seeing things from the other person's perspective. Because you have your own strong core beliefs. And you're not really trying to budge from that. Okay. Um, I do feel like there is a marriage here. There is a marriage and a mistress. I don't know why. 
for cancer as well there's like a marriage and a mistress um, sometimes in relationships and I'm not saying that it's right guys do not get me wrong when I say this sometimes people get married and there is that constitution of marriage of course there is and if you decide to get married married then that is a very serious responsibility a very serious thing that you're committing to but people do fall out of love the only thing that i see that would be not a good situation is if you have fallen out of love with the person that you're married to but are still in it while you start another relationship. That is the only thing that I can see that could be problematic. And I feel like that's kind of what's going on here is that somebody has, um, somebody's a mistress and somebody's married. Okay. So, yeah. Three of Wands, Aries energy here. What's coming in for Leo's? What's coming in for Leo's? Two of Pentacles. Having to make a decision. What do you want to do? The ball's in your court. Do you try to say things from the other person's perspective? Or, you know, do you stick by what you believe in? I feel like either way, you cannot go wrong. But it's what you can actually live with at the end of the day. Because I see this Five of Cups energy is really um, kind of getting in the way of things being truly stable. from you being able to work things out, compromise with someone. Okay. <clears throat> oh. Mm, we have a King of Swords, King of Cups here, and Ace of Pentacles. Somebody's on board and somebody's not. There are definitely two people here. This King of Cups is, is on board. This King of Swords is saying, mm, no, nah, I don't think so. Mm -mm, I'm not with that shit. Or either somebody's oblivious. Okay? Could definitely be that as well. One person knows about the other person. And the other person is oblivious. How is Leo viewing this situation? Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is kind of flaky, you know. They may love you one minute, and then the next minute is like, mm, I think I can do without you. I think I want to go on and do something else. That is the thing about the Knight of Cups. The Knight is not the king, you know. So, I definitely think there are um, a lot of emotions here, but yeah. What is the influence here for Leo's? Eight of Wands. Hmm. Wanting to move forward. Wanting to communicate. But I feel like more so wanting to move on. You know, you don't want to stay stuck. You want to move past whatever is going on here and on to something else. And then we have the Five of Wands there. That conflict. Hmm. A lot of arguments between you and this person. Disagreements. I feel like there's definitely a situation that involves... This is this involves a couple of people for some of you. Like I said, mistress, husband, wife, somebody on the side vying for um, someone else's attention for the same person. Hopes or fears for Leo. Ten of Pentacles. There's that committed relationship, that commitment. Hmm. 
that marriage. Hmm. Overall outcome here for Leo's. Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords is overthinking things. Hmm. Somebody's overthinking things here. Because you know the Nine of Swords is like you know, kind of blowing things up more than than what they should be. Um, overreacting, worrying yourself beyond belief is what that is. Worrying yourself to the point where you're not able to think clearly or function. You know. Somebody's doing this, whether this is you or someone else. And um, that is really like stifling a relationship or what could potentially be a committed, long-term relationship, partnership for life. Okay. Virgo energy um, with the Ten of Pentacles and uh, Gemini with the Nine of Swords. Okay. So that's what I have for you guys. And I'll be speaking with you guys soon.